Morning everyone, or good afternoon, hope you're all well. Today we're going to do a tour of the allotment. Well, we're going to, now it's, we're into February, we've got to do a tour of a, a few things. And today I want to actually make this video a little bit longer anyway, so we're in the house. We're going to look at a few little, little things I picked up for, for the season ahead. And we're going to go into the hut and check out all of the kind of the seeds in there and then up the allotment. And I've been up the allotment already, just I thought I'd do that first and I've got to go back. It was just blowing a gale, the rain and everything. I thought, ah, oh, can't even be bothered. But it looks a little bit better today or later on now. So we will, we will try again. So first up, I got myself another knife. <laughs> I will I be bloody locked up? So... I know, it's a longer blade, and thank you Brian for dropping that, uh, you know, telling us about that one. More, more a knife. And it's basically, it's got that longer blade, which I think will be better than my little Leatherman wear for, say, cutting the roots off the, the, the Brussels sprouts or the cabbages, you know, and that you're in that stalk and it's a little bit kind of niggly. I think that blade, the Leatherman ones, would be probably a bit too, little for that you know like that where this will be great for you know just nicking the the bottom tomato leaves off you know you don't want a big knife like that so that'll be ideal for you know everyday use but the bigger jobs i'll put a link down there if you just want it's only 10 pound i think as well and cut onions made a, made a spaghetti bolognese with them so it works yes now the next little thing I picked up, or the next little thing, is, and I've seen these before, but I just was flipping through Amazon there, £10 for three tomato pots. Has anyone seen them? I guess everyone's seen them. We normally just have, like, it's a 12-inch, you know, a 12-inch pot, the bottom's cut out, dig a hole into the, into the soil, dig in, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, little treat for us, digging into the soil, Put your compost in, put your put on top, fill it up. Basically, that's all this is, but it's got the slow release ones there. Now, is it a gimmick? Do people swear by them or not? I mean, I just like to say, I got them for the, for the channel, really, just to kind of try. I'll put them in, see if they're any good. I like the idea of slow, you know, of like dribbling slow release. Maybe that might work. I, I, I'm not sure, to be honest, but when I seen them and I was thinking, hey, it looks a little bit small. That circumference is, but you don't water there anyways, you water there. And the bottom circumference is a way bit bigger. And it's got some nice grit, you know, so you can do that kind of, kind of, that sound effect as well. So you can do that. So are they any good or the waste of time? Like I say, I've seen them for probably years, but never, you know, never bothered with them. Now I'm shuffling here, because this is my third, my third little, I'll just, oh, hey. Do you look, any YouTubers out there, do you just look at your analytics on YouTube? Now I know my demograph is 60% male, 40% female, and we're in the, in the slightly higher, you know, the, the, slightly, the slightly silver fox brigade there. Well, slipper brigade, yes, that's what it is, and... I got some lovely slippers for Christmas from Primark, five pounds. They didn't last five minutes because I'm going up and down, taking me little caddy with all my cut vegetables to me little compost bins, disintegrated, dis you know, popping out the same seeds, useless. So, ooh, bend down. Look at that big bad boy. Oh, look at that soul. How can in, in this rock and roll, eh? Look like a good slipper, good slipper, lad. But that, I honestly, man, just you, you know, you just nip out for five minutes on the grass. Fantastic, there. So, yes, I think that I'm not sure if they're unisex or not, but oh, that little bit of that, bit of that wool fluff inside, lovely. So, what we'll do now is, you know, if you want them, links below, we're going to go into the shed. See me propagate that, see what's happening. It's not looking good in there. Come on. Right, 
So even going out here, probably the wind's going to be a little bit too noisy, but it seems glorious. That was pouring down this morning, man. Right, in the hut. Right, so let's get, now apologies again, it's a little bit tight in here, but I will turn you around. So what will I show first? Well, this is my setup, as you know, garland um, propagator. Now I planted the. I didn't show you these ones, but I plant. I did these. These are some Nero cabbage, and the seem all right. To be honest, I'm just popped up straight away. I'm quite happy with the lights. Now I know Tiger. A tiger. I don't know your proper name. To be honest, I'm just going off Tiger, which arr, a little Tiger. Tiger said maybe that should come down a little bit. You know. Now I possibly could. I, I, I don't know, but. I just have because I haven't done it. Do you know what I mean? These are just like first kind of practice seeds, to be honest, in this propagator. So there's some Calwell Nero and just letting them letting them do that that thing there. Next one is another just different set of cabbages and all sorts. Oh, some onions as well. That's right. And I mean they seem all right. I seem to be this. What's this one? This is cauliflower now i think they might be getting a bit too leggy hence the light maybe they're not you know what i mean they kind of you can see the second leaves coming on they're me onions and i'm doing red onions red barren this year purely because i always seem to struggle with red barren where they're bolting you know and they seem to always bolt so i'm just going to try them and i'll pick them out and you know plant them on later on now these are and these were all planted on the 17th of january this is broccoli I'm not sure what variety green green magic that's right and some greyhound cabbage as well and i mean some of them look a little bit leggy maybe i'll get away with them i'm not sure you know it's only the first the first you know i mean there's there's been no light what i was worried about mind you was the cold because yes i know it's 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 a propagated everything works but it was minus six and i'm not sure we had a couple of as well bloody power cuts in the house just like this goes off as well there's no like battery backup you know what I mean? anything so this goes off as well so i don't know if there's been you know that hasn't helped i wouldn't have thought but more more disappointing than them ones well i mean i don't think they're disappointing i'm just you know just a bit leggy that's all is my <laughs> yes look at it well one <laughs> i've got one hot wax plant now i now you, you can granted you know two weeks you no know, they even say sometimes a month these were 16th of january and there's one <laughs> hey i did these ones a little bit later these hot wax there we ended up do these ones these were 30th of january so they're just like i'm just hedging my bets now i don't know if that's a, a, a one coming there and maybe possibly one there i'm not sure but i've read somewhere and sometimes you know i'm just wondering if it's like so bitterly cold in here even this propagator's not i don't know to be honest it's like i say maybe it's just a poor germination but i've got one one seed there and i've got some this is peppers the you know them sweet long peppers pepper toro rossa 30th of january as well as in there you know they're just like the kind of that no heat at all and these ones just like a long red one you see them in aldi to be honest that's where so maybe out of the first batch i might have possibly two <laughs> two bloody uh, and i've known they've like grown because i've seen because i did not send these seeds out sometime as well in the in the in the kind of past you know last year or something and and this year maybe as well and they worked fine do you know what i mean i've seen kind of photographs so i don't know we'll just wait and see like i say minus six one day and i don't know if with maybe a power couple of power blips has that knocked it certainly hasn't knocked the you know the cabbages or anything maybe that light like tiger says bring that down i don't know do you know what i mean it it's it is what it is to be honest so i'm just going to kind of leave it at that and and see how they go i'm going to probably take them onions up the allotment i'll harden them off so soon and get them out you know and get them up to the polytunnel get a bit more light onto them as well 
So that's me seed. So I was expecting, was I expecting better things? Uh, you know, is it just, you know, is that just what I'm expecting? We'll see anyways. I'm, like I said, this propagator is all new to me. Normally, whereas, I don't know if, we can, if I can see it. You can just excuse the, the mess. Normally, that's the prop, I don't know if you can see, there's two, two propagators there. You know, they're that kind of size with that lid. And the last year, you know, I just did the peppers last year, so you know, turning around, popped up great. But I can't remember if it took that long or not. Do you know what I mean? And I, like I say, I looked up because I was, time was ticking on for that first batch. And I was thinking, is that, is that a little bit too long a month? You know, but then th there is some, you know what I mean? There is some seeds take ages, so we will see. But there is one, possibly two. So I think we'll go to the allotment and we'll have a look around there and then we'll come back and have a little sit down and a cup of tea. You can see the trees are waving all over the place, so I'm not a 100% sure how good this little tour of the allotment will be, but we'll carry on regardless. <laughs> right then. Oh, hey, I wouldn't care. It's a glorious, it's lovely. You know, I'll use the sun there. It's a glorious day now. It was pouring down this morning. So there's all sheets of plastic getting waved about and everything. So we'll have a little look round and like I say then we'll get back and I'm probably now more coming up just for the the safety of the you know just to make sure everything's kind of buttoned down tied down so come on let's tell we're nearly there there you can see the, po the polyton has got that many holes in it just doesn't it doesn't bother it you know what I mean it just the air goes in and out so still got some beetroot now I'd planted this july last year so it's kind of probably started coming there now i'm not sure whether it'll be taking it tough and old boots or but i've left it in anyways we'll see how it goes too a few different varieties but this year i will stick to planting that you know what or is it uh, bold hardy to make sure you know because they're the ones we like to be honest you know still got our savoy cabbage still just going good it's starting to get a few starting to run down, starting to get some nice little heads on them now because I was picking them when they were just little ones like that but they're nice right, oh, the gate's open, I think I think that's more the wind than anything you know I think I've probably got one picking left on the Brussels sprouts and I might try to be honest, they don't look that appetising the tops, the heads now, I might have just missed it with them because everyone's saying, oh you try the tops Tony so that salad's just gonna go now. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I might get one little picking from it. We'll see how it goes. I did have some broccoli in there, but it's gonna, I think you probably still pick that. I think I will, to be honest. A little bit of broccoli there. That was over winter broccoli. Now I watched Paul from Richard and Paul the other day, and Paul was on about his dad putting chicken fertilizer on the onions and garlic and things like that, you know, like a little pre-treatment. So I might just do that, you know, because he's, his dad thought they stopped bolting as well and Paul was saying that if you go on the, the, the royal, some royal horticultural site they do that practice as well there now so I might just do that, put a little bit of chicken shit on there <laughs> over this bed and we're all in a kind of just a state of weight at the moment but you can see there's still, you know, a Savoy cabbage, not Savoy, the, what do you call it man, the uh, Cavalier Nero, my favourite cabbage what do you call it kale we absolutely love this stuff and i can't use too much butter at the moment because i'm trying to watch you know watch the old weight there <laughs> chungy's trying to behave himself but that just steamed with lots of butter and salt and black pepper oh you man hey well, dear me right gonna get a few pickings soon of the chard as well it's looking a little bit kind of dilapidated but you know what i mean it's still go and i'll plant some soon as well for this year i'll start doing that soon not be long that's the chard that i cut back so hopefully i might get another picking from that before everything kind of goes finishes with it the garlic here now this is the and i can't remember to be honest was this the, the english garlic or the porch portugal garlic i think this was no this was the english garlic reminders on so i might put a little bit of chicken chicken shit on that as well but it seems to be okay they seem to be kind of coming through which is good this bed i'm just leaving it for the time being i haven't got a clue what i will plant in there 
and this is my garlic as well this is the now i bought this this was kind of december garlic and i forgot what it was and i haven't even put a little note down I'll have to, i can go back and find this one because i ordered it from the the garlic farm the isle of Wight. so i can go back and find out that but it was special garlic you know for december planting which i thought was a great idea to be honest i didn't realize i just thought it was like september october you know then you get into the kind of the spring planting as well but no you can do right through to be honest so i don't think i've got oh, i've got a few leaks in that that bed but there's nothing else this is the bed i'll just get out the lights because the sun's shining this is the bed i'm gonna do the tomato frame and build up the tomato frame with a crimson crush tomatoes and i'm hoping probably eight tomatoes in there two four six eight so i'm hoping i get eight tomatoes in there with a square frame a bit like that you know well that's not a square frame obviously uh, what else what else what else oh this is the wall talking about the crimson crush tomatoes this will be my little ecosystem here so hopefully i'll be able to put some tomatoes there and do some sort of steak out as well and that might be that wall might create its own little ecosystem you know bloody freezing at the moment <laughs> oh you can see me daffodil bulbs are coming up i planted some daffodil bulbs last year as well this bed's just empty just lying the waste a few um snowball turnips there that i haven't just haven't picked still picking a bit of the cabbage in that bed that seems to be going all right so we'll just get nice the nice green leaves from there and the broccoli start now i thought this was bloody cauliflower but it's it's purple sprouting broccoli so label that's this is why i want to do this because i i just forget all the time do you know what i mean so it's the ambition this year is to kind of follow right through with labeling so this is starting now with this nicer weather coming and longer nights starting to get some more some heads on there so i'll be cropping from them so i'm just having a look down there so looking good looking good we'll go into the polytunnel and we'll have a little look in there oh, oh down dogs are going mad oh they are going mad as well i don't know if you can hear that right so what's happening i haven't been in here for a while and so i haven't done anything i haven't come up to be honest i'm letting it just go there now bit of chard there i might even transplant that back out there i'll just leave it see how it goes one bound salad is starting to i haven't like you see i haven't picked it since the last time i've been up so there's still bits and pieces but i haven't come up the water or anything you know so i have i've just kind of neglected it a little bit if, if i'm truthful you can see the garlic that i planted that's on the side you know this was the the portugal garlic i just basically got that if anyone's new we went the holiday on portugal and there was like a farmer's market and i picked this picked this big bunch of garlic just for a memory as well but so i've got some inside the polytunnel because i was watching charles dowden and he's he does his garlic in in there as well he gets a bigger crop a bigger better stronger faster crop so trying that and then this is a uk what like a boat variety i got which looks i think now it's probably even stevens on how many's actually come through so we'll just wait and see they seem to kind of run out this end but them must be down you know the roots must be away there now and in so that seems okay so it it's all right like i say it's just the wet it's just this waiting game now you know what i mean it's kind of trying not to to, to bolt you know <laughs> trying not to kind of go for, go 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 you know we're all just getting in anticipation and that's why i'm just kind of doing little excuse the sun i'll get you out of the sun doing little quirky things like planting certain things you know like doing something like early especially the a bit disappointing with the early if one bloody one or two chili plants there but we'll get some next time what else is there oh we're going to have a look at the chitted potatoes right there we go there's me pots if you're interested in the potato pots i'll put a link if i remember to them as well there i changed my mind because i did have the 50 liter so they're the 30 litre one and that's what the kind of the seam everyone seems to be kind of going for and last time you know when i came up with the frost i haven't checked these so i think they'll be all right now 
and I'll be starting to kind of, it'll not be that long before, you know, they start to kind of, especially the earliest, get out and about, you know, so we'll just wait and see. Seems all right. Get them. Right, oh, I'm pointing in the wrong direction. <laughs> so we'll see how they go anyways. Um, I was t actually it was Dave, Bluster Dave, mentioned that he doesn't start chitting. I think it's well, it's it, it's in the kind of March, I think as well. So maybe I'm jumping guns here, but that's what we've done. But you know, it's never kind of bothered with. So I think that's kind of it. Like you see, it's just this just. Just it's having a rest, the allotment, you know what I mean? It's kind of just taking its time. There's no rush to only that would just have like five minutes, you know what I mean? So we'll go back home and we'll I'll see you back home. Oh, right then, there we go. Get the get sit down and put that coat there. Just stick that coat on the floor. So it was a little bit brutal up there. I'm not a hundred percent sure what that's gonna go out like. Like I say, I haven't even checked the the footage yet. I'm just gonna kind of mix it all, match it all up and then we'll take it from there. What else has been happening? Big thank you, Gl Gloria says thank you for all the wise words on how to look after her. If you first time here, this is one tomato seed, I've named it Gloria and it's your responsibility to look after it. And it's actually a good little, you know, practice if anyone's wanting to do tomatoes, just read the comments, you know what I mean? of how to look after them, you know, early on. That's the key with, with Gloria. She's first out of the doors. She wants to be first, you know, so that's that's what the, the, the is, you know, read the comments. And there were some lovely comments. And the majority of the comments is light, plenty light. That's, you know what I mean? If she does get a little bit leggy, you know what I mean? Plant that deep, lots of light. One snag, I'm in the northeast of England, man. It's bloody winter, Where's, where am I getting the light from? I'll have to go and stick it in a shop window. So, and the funny thing is, all my windows, it's all, they're all kind of pots, you know, there's, there's, you see people on, you know, just put it in a, in a, in a windowsill. We haven't got this, there's jars, everything in our windowsills. So anyway, so that's Gloria, and Gloria says thank you for all the kind words about that on our new little journey. Plenty light. So, I will see you next time, I guess. You know, if anything you wanted, what I've mentioned, links are in. Any comments, please feel free to comment. That is just, it's an awesome, to be quite honest. It's uh, it's lovely. It, it it makes it, just reading them, do you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's really quite nice and quite comforting to know, you know, some, some book is watching, you know? So, catch you next time. Look after yourself. Take good care.